we've got news here from germany which is maybe another indication that Berghain is very, very far away in my future, if not the furthest away from my future. <laughs> it says COVID-19, Germany introduces new restrictions amid rising cases. So they've gone the other way, right? You know, UK have gone all wishy-washy. They've gone completely the other end. They're like, no, 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 no. We have to put this under wraps once and for all. So it says the following. Germany has entered a hard lockdown, closing schools, non-essential businesses, and attempt to stop the sharp spread of COVID. So I guess in the UK, we've done the opposite. We've um, the government have basically said schools are the last thing to close under no circumstances can school close I think a school in Greenwich or somewhere tried to close and the government threatened to sue blah 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 so they're just saying look we're not we're not willing to sacrifice the education of our children in order to stop the spread of COVID it is what it is kids don't pass it on even though they do you know different approaches so the article says the following the measures will be in place until the 10th of january christmas will see a slight easing with one household allowed to host up to four close family members the country reported another 952 deaths and um, 27 728 cases on wednesday now is that more deaths than us or is that less let me quickly check that that number that i saw here Buh, 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 buh. Yeah, it's about the same, isn't it? We're about in this, we're about in the same ballpark, really, in terms of numbers. We have twenty five thousand and six hundred twelve deaths, and they have twenty seven. Again, it's just frightening that we're sort of using this sort of you know mundane language to describe this horrible event. But hey, what can we do? We continue on. Um, let's go back here. So, meanwhile, EU um, Chief Ursula von der Leyen said the first COVID vaccine will be authorized for use within a week. Ms. von der Leyen, um, Leyen or Leyen said the European Parliament and the Pfizer BioNTech vaccine developed in Germany will be rolled out um, for the block the same day, uh, more than a week earlier than the original envisaged. Um, the news came after the German government said it was pressuring the European Medics Agency, the EMA, to speed up approval of the vaccine. Is that speed up word again? It has already been approved by the regulators in the UK and the US. The EMA is due to discuss the rollout next Monday. Other European countries have joined Germany in tightening its restrictions. Ahead of Christmas, France has entered a nighttime curfew. So what are the new measures? Only essential businesses such as supermarkets and banks will be allowed to reopen. To remain open, sorry, restaurants and bars and leisure centres have been shut since November and some areas in the country have imposed um, their own lockdown so again Burkine is out of my future it's a long way away maybe if we take into account what everyone's saying or exactly what the people that I've been covering on on this podcast have been saying about um, live events maybe returning in the summer of 2022 that is probably more likely or what is most likely going to happen is that we're going to have a repeat of what we saw this year summer right where a lot of the outdoor um sort of like um open air venues in berlin or in, in parts of germany will be obviously allowed to open with some level of restrictions i think that will definitely be a, a case but in terms of being in an absolute in an actual nightclub on a hard floor um dingy no light smoke machine everywhere that's a long long way 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 away unfortunately it continues hair salons are among the businesses which must close while drinking alcohol in public places which is a big thing over there right everyone drinks alcohol in public such as popular mold wine stores is forbidden companies are being urged to allow companies to employees to work from home i did see a video earlier about some shops in berlin or something you know selling mold wine from their stores and have letting people take them take away and stuff because that's a bit a big tradition during the christmas markets um the Nanjing 52 fatalities announced on Wednesdays are a new peak in Germany's pandemic, but may cover numbers that were not included in the previous day. Okay, cool. It's nearly a thousand. That's insane, isn't it? Um, Lothar Weiler, um, head of the Germany's Robert Kusch Institution, um, which is overseeing the COVID-19 response, said the situation was more serious than ever been. The number of cases is higher than it's ever, and they keep rising. There is a danger that the situation will keep getting worse and it will get harder and harder to deal with the pandemic and its consequences. Um, Deutsch Wheeler, or Deutsch Weller, Wheeler, have you pronounced that word, reported that while the cases in the younger population were falling, they were still rising among older people who are more likely to suffer from serious problems with the virus. Numbers in intensive care are said to reach alarming hair levels. Wow, it's going off in Germany, isn't it? Announcing new measures over the weekend, Chancellor Angela Merkel said that the lockdown light began in November had not done enough to bring the virus under control 
the figures are um, particularly shocking as during the early months of the pandemic Germany was one of the successful areas in European countries and the pandemic yeah it was and I, and I was still I still regret not going I was meant to go I think about when it might have been August but I ended up um, backing out of it but there was a period in time where you know Germany were doing pretty well France was doing pretty well all the places that all the playgrounds were happening right um, the possession party um, the else thing open there that wasn't a playground but you get what I mean right they were doing pretty well people were booked in there you know the parties look pretty amazing and I should have went just for the sake of it but there is a part of me that also wants to wait until clubs are actually back to go back to a nightclub I don't actually want to go to these in-between things I don't want to be sat at a table um you know um ordering drinks like I'm in some Soho club I don't want to be outdoors when I don't want to be outdoors I want to be inside somewhere dark dingy um full of smoke and surrounded by people wearing you know straps all over themselves and whatever it may be that's where i want to be and again unfortunately for us um fans of the old berlin this is going to be a long way way in the future so st stand strong stand strong stand strong <laughs> that's that J trump quote but yeah um remain strong my uh, german folk and friends out there um you know hopefully better days are coming in